hello and welcome back to inside republic if you're new to the channel thanks for joining us kindly go ahead and subscribe to the channel it's free on today's topic we'll be talking about unemployment unemployment can have a lasting emotional and psychological impact on people while job losses financial effects are often covered its emotional and mental health effects are just as important take a look at this <laughs> Mas is kulumi kuni so ah Hashem no like no. Me nang like I like speaking up on injustices when I see them. Guys, this is very unfair. I feel like yes, yes. First of all, I know these people are gonna say no. You're supposed to like stick with the sorry, keep up with the journeys and keep with the times. Like this is not the old time. But guys, what's happening to our generation is not fair. It's not fair because we were told. Oh, do you do you know do you know the the when uh, do you know the joys of graduating? Do you know what you feel like when you are wearing that hat and they tell you at UJ, at UP, at Vids, when they tell you that you are now a graduate, like you are now, they, like no one can take away that from your name. And then the next thing, like your degree does absolutely nothing for you. Like Luto, nothing. I studied BA in journalism, um, journalism and i think if we were to turn around and say it's an issue your booty some people are uh, know it's because of the field of study guys everyone is everyone is seeing flames everyone is seeing flames. and here's what upsets me the most about it we are then called entitled as a generation we're told booty you're supposed to come up with different businesses guys side even side hustles are not side hustling the way that side hustles should be side hustling and for me it feels very unfair that i took 12 years of my life so about 15 years of my life studying and then today i get to be told no actually you're supposed to start your own business some of us can't like what if you're not meant to run a business what if you're not an entrepreneur what if that's not what you want to do with your life this what if that's not what you can do with your life because remember the same person who's now 24 and you're telling them Uti, yeah no you can't expect everything on a silver platter you need to work hard you need to do this was told this from grade one and that's why today they have a degree that's why today they have got a certificate they have a diploma they have something so i hate it when it's made to seem like we are the lazy ones and it's like how am I lazy when I have a degree attached to my name? Does that not show you like that I had some sort of like there was somewhere that I thought I was going. I was actually doing something with my life and that the people, the government and everything around us has failed us. Like it's the other way around. I don't even want to get political, but like why is it always made to seem like we are the lazy ones when we literally went to school? And this is always to say like I know people. Hold on. I'm going to get upset. Um, But people are always like, yeah, but and then my business like you guys are lazy we used to do one two and three we used to walk to school we used to do one two three this generation is very spoiled and i'm like this generation is not spoiled we just moved with the times like if yes i'm sorry we have ubers to get to school or i'm sorry we have ubers to get to work and that you had to go to work but like that doesn't take away the struggles that we are currently facing right now we are educated like there's not a single person that i know in my life or in my circle that has not done some sort of education that has not moved on to a certain level of their life where they are with education it, now my english is running do you get what i mean so it, it it's kind of like upsetting in a way because it's like we find ourselves in these situations and we accept that these are the situations that we find ourselves in there's nothing that annoys me more than a person who's going to ask you Guti, are you applying mara like we are checking my post in 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 and it's like guys look at the stats no more check go corner someone has to stay unemployed for a certain period of time before you can actually get employed like the, that's why we have the rates as what well, the sorry the stats is what they are so yeah i don't know if i'm the only one who feels like that but i generally just feel like we were and then today now that it's time for the same people the same adults that were telling us to do one two and three to do their part and make sure that we have jobs this is now the government they can't do that and then it's like ha oh, oh, ha oh, you guys are lazy ha oh, you guys are lazy ladies and gentlemen with the degree guys yo next month will be officially one year since i have been unemployed and got laid off from my agency job i've networked with barely anybody responding back to me. I've interviewed, got to multiple last rounds, always got the same feedback that they went with somebody with more experience, but I was a great candidate. Um, I've applied to over a thousand jobs. Um, 
I've applied to even low paying jobs. Um, I've applied to internships. I don't know what else to do. Um, I ask, I ask questions at the end of the interview. I get to know them. Like, I don't know what else they want. You know what hurts me the most, but really breaks my heart is watching Umamam going to work. But because of the state that we live in, because of the rate of unemployment, she has to. You know, I'm not the kind of person to base everything on age, but at this point in time, at my big age, I thought I'd be the one or Sebenzela Umzali. I thought I'd be the one also Sebenza while my mom enjoys the fruits of my labor. But because of Ikandrietu and Imeko Esikuyo, we can't do that. Guys, at our big age, Abazalibetu, Basa Sebenza Latina, and it's not supposed to be like that. Your I. <sighs> And you just sit there and you listen to Umzali complain about this, about that, Umzimbu Klungu, because Umdala. But you can't do anything about anything. And Kunzima. Realistically, I know that, you know, unemployed people are not useless like being unemployed does not automatically make you make you useless but there is a feeling of absolute and complete uselessness when you're not doing something on a day-to-day basis monday to friday you know during work hours there's an abject feeling of uselessness like you are just nothing like you're just nothing and it's a horrible feeling you know but like right now i feel restless and i feel anxious I feel really restless and I feel really anxious. Because what am I doing with my life? (laughs) Nothing. I'm just unemployed and feeling useless. On the psychology of unemployment, unemployment can take many different emotional tolls that affect people's relationship with others and mental health. Number one, stress and anxiety. Stress and worry are two of the psychological fallouts of unemployment right away. These emotions are greatly exacerbated by financial instability and future uncertainty. One can become chronically worried by the strain of paying bills, handling debt, and the concern of being unemployed for a long time. The current financial circumstances are only one aspect of this stress. Another is worries about long-term stability, which, if not effectively controlled, can result in persistent anxiety disorders. Another emotional toll is depression. Depression can follow after extended unemployment. Feelings of worthlessness and depression follow the loss of the identity and sense of purpose that frequently come from a job. These depressive symptoms are more prone to get worse and may be developed into clinical depression the longer the unemployment persists. This depression might show up as a lack of energy, a chronic sadness and a loss of interest in previously appreciated activities. Physical signs, including altered hunger and sleep patterns, might also result from it. The third emotional toll is loss of identity and self-esteem. A person's self-worth and identity are frequently shaped in large part by their job. Self-esteem can suffer serious setback when one loses their job. People may feel as though they are no longer making a contribution to their family or society, which can undermine their confidence and feeling of worth. Those who have spent many years in their careers or who strongly identify with their professional function may find this loss of identity especially difficult. Redundancy can erode self-esteem and start a self-defeating cycle of pessimism. 
The fourth emotional toll is social exclusion. People may withdraw from social activities out of embarrassment or financial limitation. And lastly, the effects on family relationship, the pressure of unemployment also affects relationships within families. Honestly, us as graduates who have gotten into internships, like grad programs, need to be honest with other kids that are graduates so that they don't get shocked. Guys, graduates take low money. You will be surprised that, like, for internships, retiree change for the sake of you're trying to get into, like, a work environment, you're trying to get your foot in the door. Unemployment rates are insane, guys. And... You are actually just trying to get your foot in the door as a graduate and to be quite frank if you have to take that 10k 6k for one year guys just to get your foot in the door to be honest i'd say take it but honestly as obviously i might also be speaking from a place of i know that i can always call my parents to help me out if you still have that opportunity to be able to call your parents to help you out in a situation like this and you need to get into some sort of job or try to get some sort of work experience guys take it that is why like that is why it's like this because we take it some of us took it we took it and now obviously years have passed not even years like yeah year or so has passed like years have passed but now after a year honestly trust me if you do your work and you work well you will be in a way way better position so it might be small but like it's just the reality of our country guys there are no jobs number one you know you're struggling to get a job and if you even do get one and you get an offer and it's low and maybe you decide to turn it down chances are you're gonna sit for months and months and months for an opportunity like that again to come your way i'm not saying everyone should settle for little money but i'm just saying just consider the situation that you're in and the country that you live in before you make a decision just for chelete consider your career as well where do you want to go where do you see yourself five years from now don't just say oh it's change get change here yeah, guys Marza change here yeah, do something change here yeah, like it will honestly just just get your foot in like my thing is just get your foot into that working environment once you are in it you can go onwards and upwards from there guys <laughs> my unemployment days are over over let me reintroduce myself. I am a quality assurance pharmacist. Sana, corporate bellies. Everyone, <laughs> this is my outfit of the day. I just came back from work and I was like, I didn't do it for OTB. And I'm a corporate belly now, so this has to be my thing. <laughs> so this is what I wore um, on my first day. This is actually what I wore for my interview. And I was like, you know what? Just in case they just see me back there with the Maltese, they probably just go like half of this. I'm gonna wear the whole outfit so that they see it nicely. <laughs> but yeah, this top is from GN. My pants are from Fushimi. Loafers are also from Fushimi. Earrings are also from Fushimi. I took my hair to data because first day you need a lot of things. Documents, stationery, laptop, blah 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 blah. So I needed a nice spacious bag. After I graduated, I was unemployed for about a year and six months. So let's get ready while I talk about things that I did while I was unemployed. Number one, I decided not to stay at home. I literally went back to the hospital rest I was staying at while I was a training student, even though I did not pay rent for literally about six months. Number two, I volunteered. I know it sounds crazy, but I literally decided to go back to the hospital I was training at. I asked if I could work for free while waiting for the employment, and I'll make it a point to work on the days when the HOD was in theater so he could see me and see that I was interested in like being employed. Number three, I sent my CV to any hospital that has the department I work under, even though there were no jobs advertised. Number four, I literally called people that were working in other hospitals and told them I was available if they needed any extra help or if there was any job post available in their unit. Number five, I worked out and prayed literally every day because I was so depressed, Sana, and I couldn't cope 
going for over a year and six months being unemployed. And I literally ended up being employed at the hospital where I was volunteering. Okay guys, bye. All my unemployed graduates, let's gather here. I came across a verse on TikTok, Romans 8 verse 18. I'm going to attach the exact words because I don't know the exact words. But basically, it was insinuating that the challenges we are going through right now, this waiting season may be so hard, the challenges are so hard, but it is nothing compared to what God is preparing us for. So I know that I've been at home since November and I only graduated a month ago and a lot of people may be like, yo, wait, you're not going to get it now and all of that. Completely understand because we are so used to instant gratification in this generation. But the thing is, when you know the situation at home, the type of home you're coming from, you know you went to school to help at home. And the fact that you went through this hard thing called school, guys, school is hard. You went through the hardest obstacle. And basically, you know the situation at home and it's very hard to stay positive because now you're living in the reality. For so long you were at school knowing what it's like back at home but not living in that reality. Living in that reality knowing you can change it is very, very discouraging. Um, but, you know, and there's, there's people who be like, oh, but there's, there's people who didn't even get the chance to go to school. They are so right. Like, this season is for us to be grateful for the things that we have. This season is just that pause for you to rethink, to, to redirect your decisions, to just work on your dream body, number one, work on your dream body, to eat healthy, to, I don't know, journal, to learn new skills, to do all those things. So I feel as if you need to think about situations in a positive light more than in a negative light, because this is the situation that's happening. It's happening, it's happening. You can't change it right now, but when you come out of it, are you still going to be the same person or a different person? Are you just going to sit and complain about it or do something while you're waiting, you know? But that wasn't the point of the video. The point was that things may be hard right now, but it will be nothing compared to what God has in store for us. So hang in there and use this time very wisely. Um, yeah, to just create your vision boards to... I don't know, weed out the people you don't want in your life anymore, delete the contacts, you know, do the most guys, do the most in this time because we'll never get another chance to just sit and let life pause again. It's like, it's like lockdown all over again. We hated it, but we actually loved it afterwards for some of us. Obviously it was all different for everyone. But yeah, and the lighting is like God saying the blessings are coming, my child. It keeps changing, but you know, <laughs> but yes. If you're unemployed or on a job hunt, I want to talk to you. I have been rejected for jobs that I thought I was 100% qualified for so many times. Like, I, I've lost count of how many jobs I've applied to. I talked to someone I know yesterday. She's five years older than me and she told me how she was offered a full-time job when she was my age. It was a kind of full-time nine-to-five job so this was an opportunity that she couldn't say no to but she loves traveling she loves seeing the world she told me that having that choice taken away from me is actually a huge favor i don't know have you thought about that maybe this is the sign and the risk that you need to take to really just work on what you want to do in your life to get pushed out of your comfort zone to kind of do things you didn't really think that you had to do i don't know i just like the thought of if no one gives you the job you have to create it yourself we have no doubt that unemployment has a big impact on one's mental health in addition to financial security though there are many ways to deal with unemployment it can be difficult and occasionally seem pointless to keep one's mental health and look for new chances so now let us look at challenges people have in putting these tactics into place and practice and the reason these attempts could appear pointless. The first challenge is the overwhelming emotional cost. An overpowering emotional toll from unemployment can make it hard to keep a good attitude. Driven by fear of the future and financial stability, stress and anxiety are the first responses to a job loss. Depression can then strike particularly if unemployment lasts for a long time and one feels useless and hopeless. 
it may be difficult to participate in supposed to help activities like networking or skill development while one is carrying around this emotional load keeping oneself mentally well and seizing fresh chances can seem like far off goals when daily chores seem impossible the second challenge is the financial strain. While all challenges are important, making and adhering to a budget, handling debt, and negotiating unemployment benefits may be stressful activities. The third challenge is stigma and social isolation, where an inactive and depressed cycle can be sustained by this isolation, which might make one feel hopeless in trying to change their circumstances. The fourth challenge is ongoing rejection can sap self-esteem and make it hard to maintain motivation. When job hunting doesn't produce any quick results, the whole process can seem pointless. The fifth challenge is there are no quick payoffs. And lastly, the sixth one is there are barriers to mental health. And in conclusion, finding better ways to help people through unemployment and ensuring they have the resources and resilience needed to get through this trying time starts with acknowledging these difficulties. Guys, thank you very much for watching Inside Republic. Do comment down below about what you think about the topic. And until next time, I'll see you on another video. Bye.